हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन फार्मेकोग्नोसी सब्जेक्ट नाउ टुडेज टॉपिक इज स्कीम ऑफ फार्मेकोग्नोस्टिक स्टडी ऑफ ड्रग्स एज आई गेव यू आइडिया इन अर्लियर लेक्चर दैट टोटल वी हैव एटी फोर क्रूड ड्रग्स विच आर ऑप्टेड फ्रॉम नेचुरल ओरिजिन सो हाउ देयर स्टडी इज टू बी कैरीड आउट रिगार्डिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे टूडेज लेक्चर जस्ट इट इज टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ इंडिविजुअल ड्रग्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एंड हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी देर इज नो एनी क्वेश्चन दैट इज आस्ट ऑन दिस टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टूडे बट we have to study these drugs in a pharmacognostic manner now now there are certain technical terms that are used while studying any drug what are these terms and what is their meaning that we are going to study today now the first is official title then synonym or vernacular terms then biological source and family geographical source history of a drug cultivation collection and processing of drug then morphological characters or they are also called macroscopical characters then microscopical or they are called histological characters chemical constants then chemical test then uses or therapeutic actions of drug then various substitutes and adulterants now we will see the meaning of all these terms and how the drug is studied as a sample one drug also today we will cover now official title official title means what by this name the drug appears in the official books like say for example pharmacopeia you know all about the pharmacopeia so in pharmacopeia whatever the name is given of the drug that we can say it is a official title now the drugs of outstanding therapeutic value are standardized in national pharmacopeia and accordingly by that name the drugs are published in the various official books by different countries in the world so official title means again i repeat that the actual name of uh, Uh, we can say we can take example of uh, students also like you people so your official name is the name that appears on your documents like say for example your mark sheet your id proof is it so that is your official name that is the meaning of official title then next is synonym no synonym means what ki there are frequently used alternative terms for that particular uh, drug we can say or any other substance we can say so when the other terms are used synonymously or similar terms isn't it when two or more some terms are used for a particular drug so that we can say is called as a synonym now this synonym can be uh a abbreviation isn't it like say for example uh, our subject is pharmacognosy so i have given you abbreviation pgy so synonymously we can call as a pgy isn't it similarly all the drugs that we are going to study they have got the synonyms also like just to make you understand now uh, say for example turmeric turmeric synonym is haldi hal then uh, phenyl fruit we will study later on phenyl synonym is badi sho as it is then ginger ginger rhizome synonym is adrak alag 
so that is the other name and these names may be in various uh, languages also like so many regional languages are there so a particular drug may have different name in any other state also like Kerala, Tamil Nadu isn't it they may have different name so there are regional uh, names also and they can be called as a synonym next is biological source now biological source means the detail uh, that is provided under biological source is the name of the plant from which we get the drug then part of the plant now in organized and unorganized drug we have seen that part of the plant is very important like uh, uh, turmeric so rhizomes are important coriander fruit is important fennel fruit is important so we get the idea about the part of the plant in biological source isn't it then the uh, name of the plant also isn't it like turmeric so we get turmeric from curcuma longa curcuma longa is a biological name name of the plant isn't it then in some of the cases we get the limit of active constituents also like what is the percentage of active constituents present in the drug that idea also we get under biological source and then the family now what is the family to which family the drug belongs that also we get under biological source then form of the drug so whether it is in which form dry form or fresh form that also we get the information in biological source then geographical source at diploma level it is not important but just for your information that geographical source gives us the idea that in which part of the country or in which part of the world the drug is growing the crop of that particular uh, drug is taking place isn't it cultivation and collection of that particular drug is taking place that is the uh, geographical source geographical origin then history and introduction of drug now regarding history we just get the idea about the drug that what is its importance isn't it where it is grown abundantly isn't it and how it is useful then cultivation collection and processing of drug now most of the drug they are obtained from cultivated plants now it is experienced that plants obtained from cultivated source yield more in all respects and hence the system of cultivation of medicinal plants should be thoroughly studied but at diploma level only five drugs you have in syllabus for collection and preparation of drug for market so that topic separately we are going to cover later on then morphological characters of drug now here we get about the organoleptic characters or physical characters also we can say macroscopical isn't it so how the physically the drug is uh, visible and how what is the color of the drug what is the order of the drug that is the smell taste of the drug size and shape and special features if any the drug has, has that parameters are studied under morphological characters so morphological characters we will study of drugs in practical isn't it in uh, regarding color order taste extra features isn't it then comes microscopical characters or histology now in organized drug of plant origin the study of the cellular organization isn't it histology that is covered and for this the microscope is useful so by microscope 
uh, we can study the arrangement of the tissues isn't it we are uh, in your syllabus 10 drugs are there in practical we are going to take transfer section and we will study the cellular arrangement of that particular drug isn't it so in syllabus you have fruit also we have bark we have rhizome we have seed and leaf also so of these drugs uh, the transfer section you are going to take and you are going to study the microscopical characters isn't it now in transfer section apart from the cellular arrangement we get about the idea about the uh, various other characters also so in that uh, respective practicals we will go in detail then chemical constituents now in uh, classification of drug we have studied about the different methods so there the various classifications we have studied isn't it here also the chemical constituents are important the use of the drug any drug that depends upon the constituents active constituents that are present in the drug these drugs contain several constituents now these may be active and on the same time there are constituents which are inert also or which are not active so as a pharmacist the person must know about the active and inactive constituents of the drug also isn't it now say for example cinnamon dalchini at home dalchini is available isn't it so cinnamon contains volatile oil tannins and mucilage so their volatile oil is active constituent whereas mucilage and tannins are inactive constituents of cinnamon bark so regarding chemical constituent also it is uh, studied under pharmacognostic study then the chemical test so chemical test also is important and uh, in practicals we are going to study about the chemical test it is a criteria of identifying the drugs isn't it so drugs or the powder sample is identified by physical test and chemical test isn't it then uses of the drug now the drugs actually have got different types of uses isn't it some drugs are used as preventive and some are used as curative isn't it so for prevention also drugs are used and for treatment purpose also the drugs are used now therapeutic activity means the action of the drug on human or animal body isn't it so by therapeutic activity the, uh, the drug having therapeutic activity that is useful to cure a particular disease now for example uh, we are going to study later on fennel fruit body show it is carminative then senna leaves they are purgative isn't it so that is the use of the drug turmeric you know it is antiseptic isn't it then substitutes and adulterants now regarding substitutes and adulterants also later on we will go in detail so these are the commercial varieties isn't it so a particular drug has got several varieties isn't it isn't it so uh, the drug having different types of varieties may be used as a substitute also or if a uh, quality of a particular variety is less so that can be used as a adulterant so that in detail we will go later on and you will get idea about that in a better way now crude drug earlier we have seen the definition also now 
the term crude as used in relation to natural products so crude drug is a natural drug of plant or animal origin which has undergone no treatment other than collection and drying that is the quality or appearance of the drug has not been uh, advanced in value or improved in condition by any physical or chemical treatment so so many drugs they are uh, collected as a crude drug from the plant like digitalis leaf we will cover later on raulfia roots all these two examples are of organized drugs isn't it later on we will study now monograph so in chemistry you will study about the monograph of different compounds and the term monograph is used which uh, monograph means uh, it uses that different information related to that particular drug like official title other name of the drug definition description collection or preparation identity test isn't test for adherence method of assay storage uses and doses so regarding monograph we will get idea in a better way in pharmaceutical chemistry one here we are concerned with the drugs and as i said that uh, we are going to study about the name of the drug synonym biological source with family chemical constant and uses so you must know uh, about the synonym biological source biological source means with family whenever question is asked on biological source you are supposed to write down family also if you don't write family so you don't get full marks so biological source synonym biological source chemical constituents and uses isn't it now as a sample one drug today we will cover so that you will understand in a better way beeswax now beeswax all of you know moam main all of you know isn't it mombatti jo hum log jalate hain so that is beeswax now this beeswax is obtained from honeycomb isn't it madhumakhi ka jo shajja hota hai isn't it so that you have to understand isn't it now the synonym of beeswax is sera flava or yellow beeswax sera alba these are other names synonym used for beeswax isn't it biological source beeswax is a wax like substance obtained from honeycomb of bees now Yeah, always you must be able to write down biological source in sentence form. Earlier also I said that in biological source we get the idea about the nature of the drug, from where the drug is obtained, biological name of the drug, is it it form of the drug? So it is a wax-like substance. Beeswax is a wax-like substance, and family also. Now. Beeswax is a wax-like substance obtained from honeycomb. यानि मधुमक्खी का जो छज्जा होता है, isn't it? So honeycomb of bees. And you, uh, the name of the bees species also we must know. Apis mellifica and Apis dorsata. Two important species are there of bees. Apis mellifica and Apis dorsata. family is apd now beeswax uh, is obtained in two forms yellow beeswax is also there and white is also there so white beeswax obtained by bleaching yellow beeswax so chemical treatment is carried out where yellow beeswax get converted into white beeswax now just for your information geographical source it is not in your syllabus so you may not study geographical source of any drug only four important things you keep in mind synonym biological source chemical constant and uses 
Now, morphological characters we are going to cover in practical, isn't it? Of all the drugs, here the color of beeswax is yellowish brown. Odor smell is agreeable, honey-like, and taste is waxy because it is a wax. Texture is soft, so when we touch uh, beeswax, it is soft. Solubility. It is soluble in ether, chloroform, carbon tetrachloride, volatile oil, fixed oil. So in organic solvents, it is soluble, isn't it? Then chemical constituents. So the main chemical constituent is myrcin. It is also called myrcin palmitate. Then serotic acid, sirolene, cholesterol, lactone, isn't it? There is no need to study structure. You don't have a uh, structure of any compound in pharmacognosy. Just names you must be able to write down of the compounds of the chemical substances, isn't it? So in beeswax, the main chemical constituents are myrcene, myrcyl palmitate, serotic acid, sirolene, lactone, cholesterol, esters. Isn't it? Regarding chemical test, we will study in uh, practicals. Then uses. So this beeswax is used as a emulsifying agent. It is used in manufacturing candle molds, in manufacture of face creams, plasters, shoe polish, in dentistry. So in uh, the, uh, the dental doctors they also use this beeswax so where they are using to prepare the mold isn't it so initially they prepare a particular mold of the teeth isn't it so in dentistry also it is useful in preparation of lipsticks in preparation of paraffin ointment isn't it so in cosmetic preparations it is useful and it has got pharmaceutical use isn't it now this drug is under pharmaceutical aids. We will start with the first category of the study of drugs, pharmaceutical aids in next lecture where in this category 14 drugs are there. So this is the one which is already we are covering here. We will continue with pharmaceutical aids in the next lecture, isn't it? Total 14 drugs are there in pharmaceutical aids. So this beeswax also comes under pharmaceutical aids, isn't it? And what are pharmaceutical aids definition also we will cover later on in the next lecture, isn't it? This is the cognostic study of beeswax. We have seen synonym, biological source with family, chemical constituents and uses, isn't it? So this beeswax has got industrial or rather pharmaceutical uses we can say isn't it in uh, manufacturing purposes isn't it and it is used as a base for most of the preparations isn't it so uh, thank you we have covered only one drug in this uh, uh, topic that is beeswax isn't it I hope you have understood how we are going to cover the pharmacognostic study. So before going in detail, you must be able to understand that how we are going to study these crude drugs. Thank you.